this is how you set it up in less than one minute so let's turn it on hello everyone in this video we are going to unbox do home wireless 5g and we are going to compare it with the old 4g internet from do uh, so if, if you are not familiar with wireless internet uh, we'll just input the sim card and there is no need for lan or anything else you get instant internet access just plug it in the sim card and this one to the power source and immediately you get the internet and we are going to compare how the speed how it performs versus the old 4g internet let's unbox it so in the box you'll find the instruction manuals and uh, the codes for the router and here is the router itself so you will see how it compares uh, with the old one so we will put the sim card from below uh, actually on this one it is here and we will just immediately start testing the speed how it compares versus the old 4G internet of course in the box you will also get the LAN cable uh, and the power adapter for the uh, internet which is let's see yeah it's this normal one as you can see here so this is for the UAE market let me now show you how simple it is to set it up so you have the SIM card put it here like this all the way to the end and uh, you have the power so you put it here we can turn it on but let's wait so you see how it goes and then you have this one additional USB type C so if you want to power something externally so I will use it uh, to power this humidifier here and for the LAN cables you may or you may not use them I usually use them uh, to connect my smart TV which I will do right now because not to consume the Wi-Fi power which I use for the laptop and uh, uh, tablets and uh, mobile phones so this is how you set it up in less than one minute so let's turn it on and then we'll just wait uh, to initially set up and uh, get the signal here but let's try this powering of the type C does it work here for this humidifier uh, to give it power let's see uh, so no that doesn't work so maybe it's input for the power of this one if you want to power it on the type C rather than that uh, power supply which came with it once you turn it on please wait a couple of minutes to initialize so you can see here it's on it has the Wi-Fi but here the signal is still not showing anything so this should be green for the good signal quality or yellow for normal or if you get uh, red that's bad so you see now it came green uh, so it means it has the good signal quality but still it is on the 4G network and uh, let's see will it switch to 5G as you can see the old one here uh, it is uh, showing 5G it's not that much uh, visible but the old one is showing 5G as you can see here it's blinking so let's see will the new one also uh, transfer to the 5G and then we'll test the uh, speed of both of them uh, how they perform in the real scenario so this is the result on 5G of the old network so I'm going now to uh, actually I already did I switched to the new network here you can see from the ro new router on the 5G so this we have like this 2.4G and 5G so I put 5G uh, and we are going to hit run and then here we are going to do one more uh, go so this is the 5G of the old network but I, I assume we'll get the similar results but let's see this new one will it give us anything faster so yeah indeed it looks faster here uh, I will need to test the TV again but definitely we are getting much better uh, download speed here uh, and let's see for the upload and this old one is getting like very low download speed and let's see let's see upload 
so yeah definitely like almost double the speed we are getting uh, for the upload double uh, faster upload uh, and this download is crazily faster like uh, too many times so let's do the similar test so this is the old one and this is the new one and I'm going to do similar tests on the mobile phone so let's see how that one goes okay now we are going to test on the mobile phone so I have Samsung S22 I connected the old internet and uh, on the S9 I connected the new internet so I give kind of competitive advantage to the old internet by using the newer phone for the older internet so let's see uh, both of them how they will perform will we get similar results uh, for the speed so this one should be uh, better compared to this one so here we are getting something similar for the download which we used to see before around 57 and indeed we are getting much better speeds uh, for the new internet as you can see here so this the results are kind of consistent with the uh, uh, with the one that we received on the laptop so indeed uh, the new internet is much faster as you can see here so yeah but the only thing is i'm not sure why we are not getting that 5g signal so i will try to move around the uh, wi-fi router to get some maybe better signal but definitely i'm keeping this one here so let's do one real life download and see what speed you we will be getting uh, so if we go here we should be able to see the speed so this is the speed of the actual download so you can see it's pretty slow compared to what we were receiving there at the speed test and I'm still getting the same I'm still using the same network so as you can see this download is super slow it's giving us some very low speeds as you can see here so yeah this is the problem so as you can see it's picking up now a bit it's a bit faster uh, but still like seven minutes for 800 megabyte uh, i was expecting much better but we are still not getting like 5g signal uh, it's still showing only 4g network uh, on the router so that could be the reason uh, but let's compare now this to the old network so I'm going now to cancel this file I'm going to switch to the old network again 5G and let's try to download this file again uh, yeah you can see here it's it's much worse speed um, but still like a few minutes difference only I was expecting this new one to be maybe double faster so maybe to get everything in five minutes rather than uh, seven or six minutes which we were receiving there so let's do just one more try so we're getting here like 10 minutes so let's just do one more final try uh, with the new network here 5g of this one And now let's do one more try so let's see how fast we'll get it now will it be again up to seven minutes and yes of course this depends also from the uh, transfer that you are using so we are using now this v transfer so it could be that the transfer itself does not allowing faster speeds than this but you can see this one is a bit more faster so let's try one google drive uh, file how fast that one will download because that's usually faster so now yeah we are getting much faster speeds as you can see from the google drive so it all depends from the service also from where you are downloading the files you can see here in only a couple of seconds we downloaded 275 megabyte files so much much faster so yeah that's uh, very good speeds I'm satisfied with this one and here you can see the upload speed so this is for 1.7 GB files uh, I'm uploading videos for this video so this is like uh, six minutes so I'm very very satisfied with this speed 
So this is here what I was mentioning, it's still 4G, so maybe I'll try to find some other locations to get the 5G, but even on this 4G I'm very satisfied. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one you think it's better, the old one versus the new one, so they are completely from the same company, same models working uh, wirelessly on the SIM cards, but yeah, this new one is definitely faster and better, so I will keep it. And that will be all for this video. Assalamu alaikum. May peace be upon you.